Archer better be reveals that he's not a big fan of Canelo's boxing style. He said he's seen the Golovkin fight and he wasn't impressed from what he's seen. Uh, thought it'd be a lot more than what he expected. Um, basically, what he was saying was he's seen that type of style in his country before. And uh, that's not something that's really uh, shocking or next level to him. He feels like that's something that's on pace with what he's seen. So, And I've seen that. I said that a lot of times. Like The threats that uh, Canelo possesses is usually uh, strength and power. It's not usually as far as skill and speed and different things like that. Um, it's not a lot of different things as far as technique or anything that Canelo does that's at a different level than what everybody else does. Just calculated moves and power and pressure. And that's kind of what uh, Better Bev's, uh strength is, is in. They basically have kind of like the similar styles when it comes to certain things. I would call them more of a, a pressure fighters, punchers, more than I would uh, as far as just boxers. Technique wise, they're just a different ball game. Even uh, Better Be knows that he, when he's looking at boxing, he's looking at something. He's looking to see something better than what he's seen before. Especially when you're moving up in weight, he wants to see someone who's uh, just technically sound moving up, and he just doesn't see it. So he doesn't find that as a threat or anything that he's like, oh well, let me watch out for this guy coming to seventy five. In the back of his mind, he probably was just like, that guy better not come to 175. Not if he wants to have a long career. Because I'm the type of person I'll end your career. And he, he better stay down there moving up to fight guys like uh, Golovkin and stuff. But don't come up here. That's kind of what he probably was setting, setting his uh, mind to. And at a, at a level that uh, Better be is at right now, fighting uh, different guys already, Marcus Brown, Vosik, um, a lot of different, um, who else was it? Joe, Joe Smith recently. So he's got the competition right now to actually, uh, be in line to have a good, uh, match coming up soon with a lot of guys. If he fought Canelo right now, that'll be a hard fight for Canelo. I don't know if Canelo could be able to withstand that, but, uh, because they got similar styles, it's not something that, it's not going to be a guy that has to dance around and, it's going to be a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight, so so um, it'll be a lot more difficult for, some, for someone like Canelo to get a guy out of there like that. That's why Benavidez is someone that's looked at it the same way as uh, Bitter BF is. Because those guys don't really run in a fight. Or they don't move around the ring or do different things. They'll kind of uh, stand in the center and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Which most guys do, but they just don't... Um, Maneuver a lot. They're not as mobile as most people are. So that's what, that's what makes for a good fight sometimes, especially action pack. But a lot of those guys, if you're going to be going toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with certain people, they want to see certain uppercuts and they want to see certain angles. Uh, a lot of Europeans, they like inside game with uh, angles that you're taking. And uh, that's kind of what they like to see in a match. They don't really like to see the outside work. I mean, they'll like they'll appreciate it, but that's not really the specialties that they're looking for. So when Canelo's punching on the outside and uh, hitting your arms and ribs and different things like that, he's kind of not impressed by those different things because in his mind, he would probably go with a different strategy. So a lot of that stuff has to go on the strategy, style, technique, what you're looking for. Uh, what this person's about. Um, so, is he a knockout artist? Just like with Cullum Smith. Uh, Cullum Smith saying he has, he's a guy who can box, but he's a knockout. Uh, he's a guy who can knock out a uh, bitter beef. So. And with Canelo being in the ring with a guy like that, bitter beef, he's trying to make a statement. So, I'm just going to attach that storyline to it as well as... Um, Better be if could test himself against someone Canelo's been in there with. You know what I'm saying? Would you go decision on that? Would you go knockout? You know what I'm saying? The average person there will probably say, well, knockout. But who knows? Maybe 
his style matches up better with Cullen Smith. Who knows? But I think with his age and experience, his style would just be a lot more. Um, because Canelo's he switched his style a few times, so I'm pretty sure it better be if he's probably been in that style for a long time. He's almost 40 years old, so he'll turn 39 in about three weeks. So it's going to be some decisions he's going to be making in the future. But uh, a lot of these guys <laughs> that he's talking about, he's not really having his mind set on Canelo or anyone, but uh, he wouldn't turn it down. He would absolutely accept the fight. He's not going to let anyone uh, try to dictate how far he can go as far as uh, with certain guys and the um, age he'll be able to fight at. But right now, he wants to fight the undisputed fight with Bilbo. That's what his mind's on right now. A lot of people are asking the questions about Benavidez and Canelo, but in all honesty, he doesn't know much about these guys. He's probably seen Canelo fight once, and that's about it. You know what I'm saying? He really focused on his division and what he has going on. I wish a lot more people would actually do that, you know, focus on their division and what they're actually doing because most of the time right now, he's been fighting top guys in those divisions, clearing them out too. So, to be honest, um, leaving him and Tim Zhu off, I'll talk about that later. But, yeah, but um, he's definitely someone who had a good year as far as fighting and testing different people. So, he hasn't been taking any easy fights lately. I've been very impressed by what he's done. Uh, he's very high on the pound for pound. If anyone doesn't have him top five pound for pound, I've heard a couple people say he's not, and that's one of the reasons why we shouldn't have the list because people don't expect people to be top, top five uh, when they're clearing out divisions and when they have a lot of uh, champions and ex-champions they fought, they fought. So it's a lot of uh, things I don't really uh, accept as far as the accolades and different things like that. But um, when it comes to styles, like Better Viv says, a lot of stuff I'm not really impressed with. When I've said with Canelo, um, just the whole style and the way he goes about the attack on certain guys. And sometimes it's just he's overpowering people most of the time. It's not really anything that's like when it's technically sound. So a lot of times, even a guy like Better Viv, when he appreciates and he does the same type of style. But he does, he's not impressed with it because he's like, I can do that. I have done that. In his mind, he's saying, why is he getting credit for stuff I've been doing? That's what he really wants to say. He really wants to say, he's getting credit for stuff I've done already. We can't let this happen. If, if he's in a position where he's in the face of Vox and he hasn't done the things I've done, then that's a problem. And that needs to get fixed. And that's in his mind, that's, what, that's basically how he looks at it, but... Um, he does the same type of style, so I wouldn't expect nothing different from him. But uh, if Canelo moves up, just like uh, I don't, he didn't say much about Bivol and Canelo, but he probably knows how that went too. So he's kind of like, nah, I'm not really expecting not not much out of him. But we'll see. Um, when it comes to Cullen Smith, it might be closer than what we think. Um, especially with Bitter be of uh, age. Basically, he's getting older, so a lot of things can happen. But from what we seen him last time, he's he's fought some tough competition, fought hard fights, came in shape. So I expect the same thing in the next fight. But that's all I got. Like and subscribe.